What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story and the only story of the day is about the Galaxy S10. The S10 should be out in either January, February probably of 2019. So we're probably looking at another six, seven months before this phone is out and the rumors are really starting to go hard and heavy with this phone it looks like right now the latest rumors that are coming out with this phone is that it's going to use lp ddr5 ram right now it uses lp ddr4 ram and with lp ddr5 ram uh, there's going to be two big improvements one will be uh, it'll have a single block of eight gigabytes of ram so if you're looking at Uh, the Galaxy S10, most likely, it's probably, I don't see how else they would get around this, it's gonna have eight gigabytes of RAM inside of it because that LPR DDI5 comes in sticks of eight gigabytes of RAM. That's why I get the eight gigabytes of RAM number with that phone. The other thing is LPL DDR5 versus DDR4 is twice the speed. And it also uses the same amount of voltage. So you're looking at something that's gonna use basically the same amount of power, you're gonna get more speed, and we're gonna get more RAM, so it's great. Obviously, that's gonna improve performance, and it's just gonna be better overall experience. The other two things are, it should have a 5G networking built into it, so right now, where a lot of us are still on LTE networks, maybe an LTE 5G network, but when 5G actually launches over the next, you know, end of this year, 2019, 2020, 2021, and beyond, the Galaxy S10 will already be built for it because it have that 5G chip built right into it. The other and last thing is UFS 3.0. Now, right now we're on UFS 2.1. That's where the storage unit is. That's the speed of the storage unit. And UFS is cool because it uses less power to boot the phone. And also you're gonna get better performance, two times the speed of UFS 2.1. So overall, the Galaxy S10 and then it's supposed to have like three cameras on, on the back. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff with the Galaxy S10 that are supposed to happen with this phone. So you're looking at probably one of the best performing phones in 2019. When that phone comes out in 2019, a lot of these phones will probably have UFS 3.0, 5G networking, um, it, just all the same kind of specs. Generally, when you see these phones, especially on Android, almost all of them have the same specs. So this is probably a precursor to what the, the, the main phones are gonna have next year, but very exciting. Obviously, we'd love to see faster phone and faster phones, and any phone could could improve from speed overall. I mean, no phone is completely just like bam, 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 bam all the time. Pretty, I mean, you might say a OnePlus is or a or an iPhone or a Pixel or a Galaxy S9 or whatever, but obviously there's always room for improvement, and this phone will bring that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. New vision, new videos every single day or visions. Uh, my question out to you guys is: What's one spec on the Galaxy S? 10 you would like to see come true maybe more ram uh, obviously a better processor some kind of better camera what's something you want to see inside that phone that maybe might not happen or you know you just want to happen for sure let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching guys and i will see you down the road peace